how much do investment bankers make? Hi, I'm Peter and I'm a former investment banker at Goldman Sachs. Today, I'm going to talk about how your compensation is determined, salaries from analyst to MD, including 2023 analyst bonuses. And is it worth it? A banker's total comp is broken down into two components. One is your base salary, and that's a fixed amount that's the same for everybody at your role and level, and it'll go up every year the more senior you get. The second component is everybody's favorite, the, bon 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 the bonus. The bonus is highly variable, and it depends on your firm and your individual performance for that year. The way an investment bank makes money is that they advise a client on a deal, and then they charge a percent fee of that total deal value. For example, if Goldman advised a client to sell their company for $5 billion, and they charged a 1% fee, and then Goldman would be paid $50 million in that case. If the economy is growing well, like in 2021, then that means there's gonna be a ton of deals for all the banks to win. If your firm performs really well, you're gonna have a lot more fees and a bigger bonus pool. And the way that bonus pool is sliced up for you depends on your individual performance that year. For analysts, your performance is generally broken down into three buckets, top bucket, mid bucket, and bottom bucket. To be a top bucket analyst, it requires that you do really high quality work and that you're also appreciated for it. So building strong relationships with senior bankers so that when it comes time for them to write your review, they have a really positive perception of you. As an analyst, you're the worker. You're building all the models, putting together all the presentations, making all the revisions, project managing between a ton of projects. And if you wanna see what a day in the life was like at Goldman, you can check out my video here. An analyst typically work 80 to 100 hours a week, and it takes about two to three years to be promoted to an associate. An analyst base salary is typically between 100 to 125K a year. For most bulge brackets, for a first year, you're getting paid 100. Your second year, it's 105. And your third year, it's 110. And for your bonus, it's gonna vary, again, a lot based off of the year, your firm, your group, your individual ratings. For total compensation, you're looking at 150 to 200K a year. For 2023, global deal volume was down 40%. According to this 2023 self-reported survey from Wall Street Oasis for US-based analysts, for first years, you're looking at roughly 30, 50, and 65K for the median bonus for a low, mid, and top bucket analyst. And for second year, you're looking at around 20K more, and for a third year, you're looking at around 50K more than a first year. If you want the Excel I made, I'll link it in the description below. On an hourly basis, if we assume the midpoint of comp and hours, that comes out to be around $39 an hour. So essentially as an analyst, you're working two jobs and you're getting paid for two jobs. Associates, you are the manager, the checker. You're project managing between what the VP wants, working with the analyst to make sure it happens and that everything is perfect. So you're checking their models, you're checking their presentations, making sure everything is client ready. Typically you're working a little less than analysts, but still a lot, it's about 65 to 70 hours a week. And it takes around three to four years to get promoted to VP. At the two or three year mark, I would suggest really honing in on, do you want a gun to be a VP and go for the MD track for life, or if you want to switch out. The base salary for an associate is around 175 to 225K. For your first year, it's 175, your second year is 200, and your third year, it's 225. For total compensation, it's around 250 to 450K a year. On an hourly basis, it comes out roughly to $97 an hour. And the benefit of being an associate, if you were an MBA, is that you can pay down your loans a lot faster. VP, you are the quarterback of executing the deal. You're outlining the whole deck and process and working with the associate and analysts to make sure everything is perfect and client ready. Over time, you're gonna start building client relationships and sourcing your own deals. Generally it takes about three to four years to get promoted to MD. And if you've made it to VP, you should really be gunning to be an MD, a banker for life or you should have switched out to another industry by now. The base salary is around 250 to 300K. And for total compensation, you're looking at around 500 to 700K a year. And on a per hour basis, it's around $192 an hour. Managing director. Your job is to source deals and bring home the bacon. So this includes a lot of building and growing relationships with clients, giving them a lot of new ideas, giving them a lot of client service analysis to help them make better decisions about their companies so that over many years, once they finally want to do a deal, they're going to want to hire you over any other banker because you've built that relationship with them. MDs are typically working 50 to 60 hours a week. They're rarely in the office. There's a ton of travel, just meeting clients, building relationships. And your base salary is around 400 to 600K. And in terms of bonus, this is going to vary the most out of 
any level because again, you're eating what you kill. If you bring home 10, 20 billion dollars in deal volume that year, you're gonna be compensated super well. But if you don't bring any deals, then you're probably gonna be eating donuts. Overall for total compensation, you're looking at around 700 to up to 1.5 million a year or even higher if you bring home more bacon. And on an hourly basis, you're looking at making roughly $400 an hour. Banking has a lot of benefits, but also a lot of pain. So I'd say it really depends on what you want long-term. If you're in college right now and long-term you wanna work inside a company as an engineer, then you're probably better served just going directly to work inside a company where you're gonna get paid comparable amounts, maybe better and with better hours. If you're an MBA and long-term you're thinking you wanna work inside a company, just keep in mind switching from finance being a deal person to an operator is pretty tough and you probably have to go in at a more junior level and you're probably gonna get paid a lot less than you were in finance. If you like finance, investing business, then being an analyst at a bank is probably the best job in the world you could get because you're getting paid to learn these skills at a world-class level. If you wanna get into the buy side, like private equity, hedge funds, venture capital, then being an analyst is one of the best door openers to get into those industries. Personally, I'm super grateful that I was able to do my analyst years at Goldman because it allowed me to become a venture capitalist and start investing in startups. If you want to be a finance or deal person in banking, corp dev, biz ops, FP&A, being on the CFO track, then going into banking is probably one of the best things you can do. If you want more details on the pros and cons of banking, check out my video here. And if you want to see the resume I use to get into Goldman, you can check out my video here. Love yourself, love others, have an awesome day.